Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For this vlog, I will share my journey about my acute gallbladder removal surgery because of my multiple gallstones with polyp and sludge. Admission to hospital was April 10. My surgery was on the morning next day 7 a.m. April 11, 2023 and I left the hospital April 13. Total of 3 nights and 4 days. Hospital is St. Luke's Medical Center, BGC Manila, Philippines. I decided to remove it because of my recent gallbladder attacks and also it's the recommendation of my gastro doctors to avoid other complications and I really need to get rid of my gallbladder. I've done all the tests before the surgery, complete blood count, blood test, ECG, chest x-ray, liver exam, and a cardio clearance, meaning I'm ready and cleared for the operation. I don't have a choice but to get rid of my gallbladder now. So it's April 10 today and tomorrow morning, April 11 and 7 in the morning is my surgery time. So I'm going to the operating room sa here at St. Luke's tomorrow morning. So nagpa-admit na ako kasi yun yung recommended ng doctor ko. And my doctor, my surgeon is Dr. Azores and um, here at St. Luke's BGC. So yon fasting na ako later. Um, kasi 8 hours of fasting, no liquid, nothing at all. Um, 8 hours before the surgery. And yung gallstones pala, it's composed of fats, cholesterol, oil, salts, and you know, yun yung mga pinagsama-sama through the time, through the years na syempre kumakain tayo, naipon doon sa gallbladder ko. Pwede rin daw itong hereditary. So, yun lang. Unluckily na meron tayong ganito, meron akong ganito. So, kailangan tanggalin. This is my dinner. Ayan, it's a very low fat, non-fat. Yan ang food ko. And, um, oh. Ayan. So, non-fat to ha. Gallbladder ako ang problema. So, this is not fun. Ang ganda ng food kasi ng presentation, ang food, and magaling yung chef nila. So, I'm going to shower and I'm required to use this. This is the recommended by the hospital. So, this is a eco bath antiseptic shower bath. So, shower antiseptic shower bath liquid. So, ito yung gagamitin ko ang shower. Comes with sponge. Now my bedside nurse is looking for a good vein for the IV. My surgery schedule is in the morning, so that my last food is strictly 8 hours of fasting. No liquid, no food. They will bring me to the operating room around 6.15 in the morning for the preparation for the surgery. And the surgery will start around 7 in the morning. Okay, a little bit of history. It was last year, January 2022, when I experienced a severe pain that lasted 2-3 to three hours. Every time. Really unbearable, severe pain and feeling like I'm going to collapse every time. Normally, it's in the middle of my stomach. Attack continues followed by month of May and June 2022. Same severity. 
got a scan, CT scan and ultrasound check and I found out I have a multiple gallstone. They are small but many. Also got a polyps and sludge. My other doctor recommend me to take Ursumax for a total of 5 months to dissolve the gallstones since I don't like to have a surgery at first but it failed. The medicine just delayed my surgery. It didn't dissolve the gallstones but I did not have an attack for months when I was taking the medicine. After I stopped taking the medicine, I got a severe attack again last February 2023 and the last one on March 2023. Total of 5 gallbladder attacks. So I decided to remove my gallbladder now. And I decided to do it here at St. Luke's Hospital and found Dr. Azores. He is my surgeon for the removal of my gallbladder. Thank you. Salamat. I din ako. So, start na ako ng fasting. 8 hours fasting. So, I'm not allowed to drink. I'm not allowed to eat anything. So, at least may idea ako to anti-dehydration. So, yun na. Wish me luck talaga nakakano. Nakabangan na po. Kat. Ganun talaga yun. My bedside nurse performed a skin test, inserting a very small amount of antibiotic to see if it has a bad side effects on me because if there's a side effect, they will have to change the medicine. But luckily, yes, it's all good. I don't have any side effects or bad reaction from it. It's just that the skin test is a little bit uncomfortable, but it's okay. Okay, it's past 6.15 a.m. It's time to go to the OR, operating room. I'm a bit scared, but I only think that this is for the better and no more suffering from my gallbladder. And I trust my doctors for this surgery. The procedure will be laparoscopic cholecystectomy. My doctor advised me to better remove it to avoid future complications like gallstone blocking the bile duct and avoid complications to my liver. I did my research too and I asked some people who experienced this surgery to gain some info and knowledge from them. I joined Facebook groups too about gallbladder removal to be more aware. It's a big help to read and ask. I also have a relative, my aunt, that had a surgery years ago, removal of gallbladder and they told me to better do it now than later. Because the more I wait and delay the problem won't stop and I don't like the gallbladder attack. Also, eating quite bothering me because it also triggers the attack if I eat or consume some trigger foods. Here is some photo from my surgery. I'm under general anesthesia, so zero pain, and I'm sleeping the whole time of process. Procedure is laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Three thin tubes inserted in my abdomen. One was inserted in my belly button, and it has a camera. I have a tube in my mouth and throat where I can breathe because I'm breathing using a machine, not on my own because they relax my organs for the surgery. They told me there's a small chance for open surgery but luckily the surgery was smooth so no need for open surgery. And this is my actual gallbladder. Gallbladder is out and swollen because of my recent attack. I have a multiple gallstone, mostly small, but it's many. My surgeon also used three surgical metal titanium staple when they remove my gallbladder. Surgery lasted for two hours. Then I stayed in the recovery room sleeping. 
when I wake up, I think it's around 11 a.m. and I'm in pain because of the incisions. And at the same time, I'm very hungry. So I kind of feel really weak and I'm really in pain when I get back to the room. But the nurses really take care of me, giving my needs, water, and some painkillers. When I'm all cleared, they bring me back to my room to rest and recover. Finally, surgery is done. At this point, I'm still dizzy because of the anesthesia. But in my mind, I'm very happy because no more pain, no more gallstones, a little bit sore throat, I can't speak loud, I kinda lost my voice a little bit, I have to talk slowly because I have a discomfort in my throat. So my doctor told me I can eat most of the food, but need to avoid oily and fatty food while recovering. But I prefer actually soft food like lugao. I'm drinking a lot of water too because this time, until the next day, they will give me also medicine, paracetamol by IV, and kitties, a painkiller, and anti-inflammatory, which is really effective. They only give me one time um, take of antibiotic. That's it. No more antibiotic. Only one time. I don't like the tramadol. Tramadol painkiller because it makes me really dizzy like crazy. So they stop giving me that. When I wake up, it's a recovery room, the anesthesia is quite strong, so the surgery lasts like two hours or something like that. I'm kind of so much in pain at the moment, so all is fine. I'm thankful, I'm happy that my gallbladder is gone, but it's my few hours only now so I it's really in pain so I have a uh, IV and dextrose so it's helping me to um, ease the pain I can't really explain much for the meantime this is my update I will show you some photos here and um, also my gallstones I will show you. It's night time. After hours, I started to feel better. I'm eating non-fatty food, soft food, and also water. I have medicines and painkillers through my IV. 
pain is now really tolerable. I don't feel bloated. I'm not dizzy anymore unless I stand up to go to the toilet. Um, the pain is tolerable because of my painkillers and medicines. So I have some antibiotic, but more on um, painkillers. So, so far, okay. I'm able to walk very very slowly because i'm still busy because of the anesthesia i can go to the toilet to take a pee without any problem and um, i'm also able to fart and i don't have much gas actually so that's a good thing so no no stomach pain but only the surgery is the painful part the operating room I got a tube so I can I'm able to breathe from machine and also anesthesia inserted in the tube so yes that's my first night um, soon I'm going to sleep and then tomorrow is another day so again um, it's tolerable now if it is still painful, but I can manage it tolerable. I just need to rest. Hello. Um, yesterday was my surgery. So I'm able to eat a small amount of meat, but I need to chew it properly. Kailangan mo yan pag meat, but more on soft food, lugaw, and fruits. Yung chewable at saka kailangan, you need to chew it, you know, I need to chew the food properly. On more on soft food, no fats, and then, or low fat, not oily food at all. Less salt. Um, as you can see, feeling better because of my high doses of painkillers. They're giving me paracetamol also, liquid paracetamol, to avoid fever. Uh, I, I still do pain but very minimal and it's very tolerable. And today is better. Yesterday was my surgery. So today is um, better. I sleep well. And my doctors are recommending me to... Um, to walk and I'm able to pee you know but I'm still busy this morning I take a pee but I'm still busy from anesthesia but later on I'm going to start walking a little bit to practice you know it's good for my overall health and my muscles and my system I can talk properly it's just that I'm not able to walk um, as much and you know need to take a rest of course and also, my doctor told me, avoid coffee. So, I'm not allowed to drink coffee and soda. Well, it's good because I'm not drinking any soda, actually. It's not my um, lifestyle. I don't drink soft drink. My doctor told me to try stand up and practice to walk a little to regain my energy, which is really good for my recovery.
education, I started oral now. No more machine. Wala nang fluid. No more fluid medicine. Now, everything is oral. So, this is Kitty's uh, for uh, painkiller. So, titake ko siya. <music> Pupu na rin ako. Um, it was smooth, so it's okay. I'm um, soft stool, but I'm not forcing it, you know. If I just feel like it's coming out, pag pakiramdam ko talagang lalabas na siya, tsaka lang ako nagpunta ng toilet. And then, then, smooth naman. Um, no pain. Um, normal color. Ang texture niya, soft lang siya. Hindi matigas. Hmm. Yes, as I've said, it's my third day post-op. And, nakakalakad-lakad na ako on my own. I can walk on my own. So, a little bit of um, assist, you know. Here, hinawakan ko dito. So, ayan. Medyo malay. I can walk. See? This is third day. Third day post-op. Can walk. But um, the doctor said um, I cannot go to shopping mall, you know, it's not allowed to do that. You can practice walking at home. So you have to be properly healed because yung inside natin is still swollen. So take it easy. I'm taking it easy. So I still have few weeks to go, month to go. I'm not allowed to um, to carry heavy stuff. And One of the medicine. I have two medicine, oral medicine now. No antibiotic. This is Tylenol for pain, and the other one is Kitties for inflammatory and pain. So that's it. Two tablet. Um, in two kind of medicine lang for at home um, recovery. So this is um, my adult stone. They gave me only one um, piece. This is the biggest gallstone I have. Um, yung the rest, they take it, they only give me one. So, yeah. They just all cows. Yeah, so, it's, it's hard. They only give me one, and then the rest, they take the rest of the gallstone and the gallbladder. So, <laughs> So yes, 
before we left the hospital today, um, my surgeon um, ordered to remove plaster. So here it is, very tiny. And the camera actually uh, inserted here. Supposed so yeah. And the other one, this. No sign of infection, no sign, and all done. Just advice, just wash soap and water. So this is my last food. We're going home. This is last food with a soup and mango. So yes, finally we are going home after three nights and four days staying here at the hospital. I'm ready to recover at home. After settling the bill, we are now going home. Total bill cost me around actually 286,000 pesos, but I have to deduct the Philippine Health Insurance, Bill Health, which is around 18,000 pesos. So total I paid is around 268,000 pesos, including doctor's fee, confinement, medicines and the surgery will take oral medicines for five days i want to say thanks to my family especially rowena my cc for taking care of me i want to thank my doctors and nurse for the good service and care again need to take time recovering avoid oily food fatty food no lifting no exercise no driving yet as my doctors order So yes, ito yung incision ko. This is my after 5 days. This is the 5th day after the surgery of removal of gallbladder. Um, it's dry na here sa belly. My discoloration. And then this one is getting better. It's dry. And this one is dry. So three incision lang yeah so i'm feeling better i can walk and um, not much bloating and i haven't showered um fully yet so we just wash my hair after five days just today we just fully wash my hair only my hair not full shower yet just a uh, uh, wet towel and then scrub my body with it I'm planning to have a full shower, I think, after um, two days more. And the good thing is, not much pain. I don't feel much pain from the incision, so I'm feeling better. Just continuing the painkillers, the medicine, Tylenol and the Kitties. That's my only medicine. And then I'm eating um, not oily food. I'm eating vegetable and fruits. And then, not fatty food, so I'm avoiding that. I'm not drinking coffee. Also, no dairy product at the moment. So, everything must be moderate and controlled. So, yeah, just healthy food. And then, for proper healing. So, well, after seven days, ito na siya. Yeah. Not much bloating. Yeah. So... Yeah. It's dry na and it's healing properly. Um yeah. So uh, this is after 7 days post of um gallbladder removal surgery. Yeah. I can move properly but of course take it easy still not much activity just laying down in the bed just resting to have a proper healing process you know so yeah hello everyone well officially seven days post off it's my first week exact seven days today um after my gallbladder removal surgery and i'm feeling better so much better today i have a schedule to my doctor i'm going to 
my doctor for my check up after a week he's going to check my incisions dr azores of st luke's hospital bgc here in the philippines i can sleep properly no more much pain in general a little bit sore when i'm walking but lying down in bed no more pain and i can sleep on some positions um, peacefully good sleep I take a shower today this is my first full shower um, after one week and also my surgeon advised me to apply hot compress in the incisions area with bruises at least one to three times a day to heal quicker and 11 days post off after the gallbladder removal surgery really getting better and better total of 11 days yeah day 14 really getting better Yes, hello again. It's my 14th day, exact two weeks. It's April 25, 2023, exact two weeks. So I'm healing good. I'm healing quite fast. And um, I'm able to go out. So, but of course, don't do exercise. I don't do running or jogging. I'm not lifting any stuff or heavy stuff. So I am very thankful and happy. I'm healing properly and I regain my energy. So it's already um, 14 days post off after my gallbladder removal surgery. And yes, I'm able to go to the shopping mall and walk around, you know. So, like what I used to do even before. So, I'm able to go out and I'm able to hang out with my family. 16 days post off after my gallbladder removal surgery. Um, this is my day 16. So, Incisions are healed. Ayan. Healed na sila. Ayan. Healed na. Dry. And healed. Ayan. So, wala na rin naman masyadong pasa. Wala nang pasa. So, continuous healing lang and taking it slowly. And for full recovery. So, yun. I'm feeling great. I can eat most of the food na. And I can walk properly. So, it's still no exercise and no lifting. So, yes, hello again. It's my 16th day. Well, as you can see, my um, incisions are healed up now. And I'm feeling so much better. I have no stress about my gallbladder. And I don't have to worry about um, any gallbladder attacks. As I have said, I can do actually most of the thing now. But I'm not allowed to carry heavy stuff i don't do exercise yet no jogging no running but i can walk properly i can hang out with my friends and also i can go to the mall and i can have a uh, have time with my family so i can say that i am recovering really good and i will recover more for months to come and weeks to come well then thank you for watching this vlog so for to all the people that has a problem to their gallbladder or if you have a problem to your gallstone well this vlog i hope was helpful i think the most helpful advice that i can provide is if your doctor um, recommend you to remove the gallstones and your gallbladder i think it's better to follow your doctor because me I tried to delay because to avoid the surgery months ago and I ended up removing my gallbladder. So it's better to, you know, of course there's no mistake in trying things but it's better to remove um, the gallbladder as soon as possible. But then removing my gallbladder actually makes me feel better. I don't have complications and then just a little pain so I recover now I feel so much better now so I don't have to worry I'm worry free about any gallbladder attack so I don't have any stomach pain I can eat most of the food I just have to avoid oily and fatty food 
So it's just more of a discipline in taking care of yourself. I don't have a gallbladder now. I have to take more care of myself and love myself more. So then, well, I hope this vlog is helpful to anyone. And um, thank you for watching this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please do check out my other vlogs here and my playlist here in my channel. And also, I will update you in the future um, about my gallbladder and other health issues. So again, bye-bye and see you again to my next vlog. Mm -hmm.